What's going on, Jill? I'm not sure, Jeff. Six. Oh, right. <laughs> it looks like you're going to catch me. One, two, three. Where'd this come from? I think it came from in there. Oh. oh, Emily is throwing the paper. And why is she dressed like that? What is she doing? And why is she making those funny faces? Did you ever see a lassie, a lassie, a lassie? Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? Go this way and that way and this way and that way. Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? Did you ever Paper Barney. It was an accident. Oh, that's okay, Emily. Uh, you are Emily, right? You look sort of different. <laughs> I'm dressed like Mother Goose. See? Oh, I see. In school, we've been reading Mother Goose rhymes, like this one. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. That's a good one. Now, I'm supposed to write a new rhyme of my own. Oh, well, that sounds like fun. I thought if I looked like Mother Goose, it might help give me an idea. But I'm still having a hard time. Ooh. Is this one of your rhymes? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, let's take a look. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> um, roses are red, violets are blue, scribbly line, scribbly line, all scratched out, shoe. I think I need some help. Well, I know someone who'd be happy to help. <laughs> and she's already here. She is? <laughs> Where? Right here. <laughs> I just love doing that. It tickles. Oh, hi, Mother Goose. Well, hello, Barney. Oh, it's good to see you again. Good to see you. You're Mother Goose? Well, that's right. And you're Keisha. And Robert. And Jill. <laughs> and Jeff. And... Well, my goodness, I must be looking in a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Emily. I know you are, dear. How did she know our names, Barney? Oh, Mother Goose knows the name of every boy and girl who's heard her rhymes. That's right. And I knew your mommy and daddy when they were little, and your grandmother and grandfather when they were little. Wow. 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 Oh, I'm Mother Goose, and I'm here to say that I love to speak in rhyme. I've been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. She's been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is a rhyme, you ask? What is a rhyme, you say? Rhyming words will sound the same Like fiddle and diddle, name and game Like farmer in the dell, pussy in the well I like to speak in rhyme Oh, I'm Mother Goose and I'm here to say That I love to speak in rhyme I've been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. She's been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. Now some of her rhymes are funny and some of her sleepy time. And others talk about animals, like the sheep and little Bo Peep. 
like sugar and spice and three blind mice, I like to speak in rhyme. Oh, I'm Mother Goose and I'm here to say that I love to speak in rhyme. I've been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. She's been around for many, many years. For a very, very, very long time. Mother Goose, Emily's been trying to write a rhyme, and I thought you might be able to help. Ah, uh -huh, so you'd like to be a little Mother Goose, hmm? Well, I'll be happy to take you under my wing. <laughs> oh, boy! I mean, thank you. Well, first let me see how you were trying to write. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Here sits the Lord Mayor, here sit his two men. Here sits the rooster, here sits the hen. Here sit the little chickens, here they run in. Chin chopper, chin chopper, chin chopper, chin! <laughs> you see, there's your problem, you weren't smiling. To write a mother goose rhyme, you have to be smiling, and laughing is even better. Oh, writing rhymes sounds like fun. I'd like to write one too. So would I. Yeah. Well, then the first thing for us to do is to get up, get out, and have a little fun. <laughs> and I've a whole book full of fun things we can do. Well, then let's get started. Now, if you need an idea for a rhyme, just open your eyes, look around, and write about what you see. Okay. Yeah, you. <laughs> Could you make a rhyme about these flowers? Oh. Daffy Down Dilly has come to town in a yellow petticoat and a green gown, and her white blossoms are peeping around. <laughs> Could you even write a rhyme about our playset? Well, of course. Especially if I pretend that it's a great, big, beautiful bridge. <laughs> London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Fills it up with iron bars, iron bars, iron bars. Fills it up with iron bars, my fair lady. Iron bars will bend and break, bend and break, bend and break. Iron bars will bend and break, my fair lady. <laughs> Build it up with silver and gold, silver and gold, silver and gold. Build it up with silver and gold, my fair lady. Gold and silver, I have none, I have none, I have none. Gold and silver, I have none, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. My fair lady. <laughs> Have you really been to London, Mother Goose? Oh, goodness, yes, many times. London is a wonderful city in a country called England. When I wrote these rhymes a long, long time ago, they didn't have cars or buses or trains. They had beautiful carriages pulled by horses. Well, you mean like the horses over by that tree? I don't see any horses. Oh, well, try looking on the other side of the tree. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I think they're going to like this. Ah, just like in jolly old London. Mother Goose, your carriage is ready. <laughs> Up at the Piccadilly O, the coachman takes his stand. And when he meets a pretty girl, he takes her by the hand. 
Flip away forever Oh, drive away so clever Oh, all the way to Bristol Oh, he drives her four in hand Up at the Piccadilly -o, The coachman takes his stand And when he meets a pretty girl He takes her by the hand Whip away forever Oh, drive away so clever Oh, all the way to Bristol Oh, he drives her four in hand around down there. <laughs> Hoisting around. <laughs> well, I'm sure they're having a wonderful time with Mother Goose, yeah. Scooter. Oh, I declare her rhymes are so much fun. Oh, can I hear one? Can I? Well, all right. Here's one of my favorites. I'll say it, then you give it a try. Oh, I <clears throat> uh, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. Oh. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where's the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, let me try it, okay? All right. Yeah, okay, okay, um, uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. A uh, uh, peck of pickle piper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> um, Peter Piper peck of pickle pocket. Uh, yeah, picky people pocky. Uh, Peety pikey pepper. Yeah! Why is that one of your favorite rhymes? Oh, because it's so much fun watching other people try to sing it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, uh -huh. Peter Pepper Pike and Pucka. Peter Pepper. Yeah! Sure, that's easy for you to say. Mother Goose, do you think we can get ideas for rhymes in here? Oh, I'm sure of it. In fact, you could make it a game. <laughs> hey, mate, good idea. Let's all look around and try to find things that remind us of Mother Goose rhymes. All right. <laughs> right. Look, here. It's wonderful. <laughs> look, here's a Humpty Dumpty puzzle. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, dear. Well, maybe you can put him together again, Emily. I'll try. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh. But I can. <laughs> well, he looks much better now. Look what we found, Barney. Does this remind you of any Mother Goose rhymes? Ooh, well, how about one called The Clock? <laughs> There's a neat little clock. In the schoolroom it stands, and it points to the time with its two little hands. And may we, like the clock, keep a face clean and bright, with hands ever ready to do what is right. I like that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh my! It's wake up time! <laughs> to market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. To market, to market, to buy a plum bun. Home again, home again, market is done. Oink, 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 oink. Aha! Now here's something worth writing rhymes about. The numbers? What's so special about numbers? <laughs> What's so special about numbers? <laughs> well, I use them in my rhymes all the time, and you can too. Numbers are good for counting. Yes. And they're good for telling time. Yes. But most of all... Yes. They're lots of fun to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, 
five, six, pick up sticks, seven, eight, lay them straight, nine, ten, begin again. <laughs> Let's sing it together. Okay. Right. Yeah. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks, seven, eight, lay them straight, nine, ten, begin again. Now let's try it really fast. All right. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick a six. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, that's the end. That's the end. Oh, it's not oh, right. Oh, 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 say that right. Well. It certainly looks like you're enjoying mm. those Mother Goose Rhymes, Scooter. Mm -hmm. I am, I am. This is really good stuff, real yeah. good. Yeah. You want me to read a rhyme for you? Why, that would be lovely. Uh, something soft and pretty. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, something soft and pretty, soft and pretty. See okay, yeah, here's one called The Donkey. Oh. <clears throat> donkey, donkey, old and gray. Uh -huh. Open your mouth and gently bray. Lovely. Lift your ears and blow your horn to wake the world this sleepy morn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how is that? Why, Scooter, when you're reading, I feel like there's a real donkey sitting right next to me. Wow, uh, gee, uh, thanks. I guess. Look, Mother Goose, I found a toy sheep. Oh. Is that something you can write a rhyme about? Oh, goodness, yes. I've written lots of rhymes about sheep and lambs. You have? Mm hmm Just listen. Baba okay. Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three oh, bags full. Oh, 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 my. Oh, 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 oh. Little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where's the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Yes, I've written rhymes about all sorts of animals. I love them all. Oh, one of my very favorite Mother Goose rhymes has lots of animals in it. Could you tell us more? Oh, tell us, oh, 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 oh. Could you Yes, tell us more? do tell us. Well, it's not just a rhyme, it's also sort of a long story. So I'll need lots of help. Oh, okay. sure. oh, oh, oh. Boy, oh, boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Are you ready back there, everyone? As ready as we'll ever be. Then let's do it. Okay. <laughs> right. I can't wait to see it. I am Jack, and this is the house that Jack built. This is the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. 
This is the cat that chased the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the dog that worried the cat that chased the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that chased the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the maiden all forlorn who milked the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that chased the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the man all tattered and torn that kissed the maiden all forlorn who milked the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that chased the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the priest all shaven and shorn that married the man all tattered and torn that kissed the maiden all forlorn who milked the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that chased the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. <laughs> I am Jack, and this is the house that Jack built. This is the house that Jack built. Good job, everyone! I like you, Jack. <laughs> you might even say it was super d duper <laughs> Well, you've all made me feel right at home by doing so many of my rides. <laughs> you must have a wonderful home. Oh, she does. It's full of surprises and lots of fun. <laughs> it can even give you some rhyming ideas. Say... Why don't you all come with me for a visit right now? Oh, boy! <laughs> Is your home very far away? Oh, it's much, much closer than you might think. My home is right inside this book. I don't think we'll all fit in there. Oh, you don't? <laughs> hmm, well, might be a little bit tight. Uh, what do you think, Barney? Oh, I think we'll all fit just fine if we use our imaginations. We can do that. <laughs> oh, it's just fun. Then let's all use our imaginations. Here we go. <laughs> I, I told you it tickles to travel this way. It does. Oh, my. I've never seen any place like this before. That's because there isn't any place else like this. All of our favorite stories are coming your way today. There's so much to do, so much to see. We're gonna run and jump and play. Mother Goose knows what to do. The sun always shines, music and rhymes, laughter and fun for everyone. Where do we begin? The fun never ends in the land of Mother Goose. We'll try to find the corner of Little Jack Horner. A shoe for Betty Blue. Then climb up the hill with Jack and Jill. And tumble to the bottom, too. The sun always shines, music and rhymes, laughter and fun for everyone. Where do we begin? The fun never ends in the land of Mother Goose. Where do we begin? The fun never ends in the land of Mother Goose. <laughs> <laughs> it coming from? Oh, it's the flowers. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. You see, I write about the things I see around me every day. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, 
Honk, honk. <laughs> geese coming through. <laughs> I know a rhyme about geese. Goosey, goosey, gander. Where do you wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. <laughs> oh, and they leave feathers everywhere. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> well, shall we go inside now? Lead the way. <laughs> This stuff. <laughs> well, look around, enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Everything I have was meant to be shared with girls and boys. <laughs> In Mother Goose's house, you can find lots of things from nursery rhymes. <laughs> wow, is this your very own Mother Goose book? Oh, this is it. And this is the quill pen that I've written all my rhymes with. <laughs> it looks like a feather. <laughs> That's what a quill pen is, a feather dipped in ink. And I've been using this one a long, long time. <laughs> wow, this looks really neat. Ooh, Mother Goose has had that for many years. That's Little Miss Muffet's Tuffet. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Oh. <laughs> what a cute little spider. What's this thing, Barney? Oh, why, that's Jack Bean Nimble's candlestick. Want to give it a try? Sure. <laughs> Jack Bean Nimble, Jack be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. Now you try, Barney. Oh, well, I don't... Come on, I... it's fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready when you are. <laughs> Barney be nimble, Barney be quick, Barney jump over the candlestick. Here I go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I think you shook up the clock, Barney. And I think you woke up some mice. Look! <laughs> Oh, good! <laughs> you got my clock running again. It hasn't worked right ever since I wrote that rhyme about it. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. <laughs> Hickory dickory dock. Oh, my. He can run fast, can he? <laughs> yeah. Hickory dickory dock, two mice ran up the clock. The clock struck two, and down they flew. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> Boy, that looks like fun. Hickory dickory dock, three mice ran up the clock. The clock struck three. They all yelled. Hickory dickory dock. What a funny place to have a house in a clock. <laughs> Hickory dickory dock, four mice ran up the clock. The clock struck four. They tried no more. <laughs> Hickory dickory. Hickory dickory. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> Nice mice. You made a rhyme, Emily. Hey, I did. You see, it isn't hard to do. Barney, are these mittens part of a mother goose rhyme? They sure are. Those mittens were lost and then found. <laughs> Three little kittens, they lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have lost. What lost your mittens, you naughty kittens? Then you shall have no pie. Meow, 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 now we shall have no pie. They look sad. <laughs> oh, but wait, look! <laughs> Three little kittens, they found their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have found. 
What found your mittens, you funny kittens? Then you shall have some pie. Purr, 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 purr. Now we shall have some pie. <laughs> Boom. Yummy, yummy pie. Mm -mm. The three little kittens put on their mittens and soon ate up their pie. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have soiled. What soiled your mittens, you naughty kittens? Then they began to sigh. Meow, 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 meow. Then they began to sigh. Ooh. Oh, scrub it up, dub. <laughs> The three little kittens, they washed their mittens and hung them up to dry. Oh, mother dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have washed. What washed your mittens, you good little kittens? Now you can go and play. Meow, 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 now we can go and play. Yay! <laughs> I'm glad the kittens can play today. <laughs> Play today. You made another rhyme, Emily. Play today. <laughs> You're right, they do rhyme. <laughs> Goody. Around here, almost anything can become a rhyme, even my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater, had a wife and couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very well. <laughs> There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some soup and slices of bread. She hugged them and kissed them and put them to bed. <laughs> oh, that's a really big shoe. It yeah, sure was. <laughs> What's that sound? Oh, that's the man who sells pies. He rings the bell to let people know that he's coming. <laughs> oh, it looks like he has a customer. Hey, look, it's BJ. And he's dressed like Simple Simon. <laughs> oh. Now, let's see these pies. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair. Says Simple Simon to the pieman. Let me taste your wear. Says the pieman to Simple Simon. Show me first your penny. Says Simple Simon to the pieman. Indeed, I have not any. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Simple Simon went a fishing for to catch a whale. All the water he could find was in his mother's pail. Oh, brother. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh. oh, let's see. Simple Simon went to look if plums grew on a thistle. Uh -huh. He pricked his finger very much, which made poor Simon whistle. To catch a dicky bird and thought he could not fail because he had a little salt to put upon its tail. <laughs> he went for water with a cup, but somehow it stayed dry. And now poor simple Simon bids you all goodbye. <laughs> oh man, I give up. <laughs> Hi there, BJ. Hi, Come on buddy. in. Hi, guys. How you doing? Check out the hat. Nice, huh? I didn't expect to see you in Mother Goose Land, BJ. Ah, uh, Sissy and I come here all the time. Mother Goose is really cool. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you, BJ. I think you're really cool, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of your sister, here comes Baby Bop right now. All right. Oh, look at all the pretty flowers. A ticket, a casket, a green and yellow basket. I wrote a letter to my friend, and on the way I lost it. I lost it, I lost it. Where it went. Hmm. A ticket, 
<laughs> Mother Goose, this is for you. <laughs> you better hold on to it. Oh, I will. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got something for you, Sissy. Oh. It's a Mother Goose ride. Oh, goody. <laughs> <clears throat> There was a little girl, and she had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. <laughs> when she was good, she was very, very good. <laughs> and when she was bad, she was horrid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not horrid. I'm not. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> um, I have a Mother Goose rhyme for you, BJ. Oh. Whatever I say, you say, just like me. Just like me. Okay. I went up one pair of stairs. Just like me. I went up two pair of stairs. Just like me. I went into a room. Just like me. I looked out of a window, just like me. And there I saw a monkey, just like me. Hey! <laughs> you can't catch me, Mr. Monkey! <laughs> Where are you going, Sissy? Mother Goose, why do you have just one wooden shoe? Don't you need two? <laughs> one shoe was enough for one of the most magical sailing adventures ever. Oh, I remember that sailing adventure. You do? <laughs> I sure do. And it's a very interesting story. Blinkin, blinkin' and not one night sailed off in a wooden shoe. Sailed on a river of crystal light into a sea of doom. Where are you going and what do you wish? The old moon asked the three. We have come to fish for the herring fish that live in this beautiful sea. Nets of silver and gold have we. Said Winkin, Blinkin and Nod. The old moon laughed and sang a song as they rocked in the wooden shoe. And the wind that spared them all night long ruffled the waves of doom. Winkin' and Blinkin' are two little eyes and Nod is a little head. And the wooden shoe that sailed the skies is a wee one's trundle bed. So shut your eyes. While Mother sings of wonderful sights that be And you shall see the beautiful things As you rock on the misty sea Where the old shoe rocked the fishermen three Winkin, Blinkin and Nod Winkin, Blinkin and Nod Hey everybody, look what we found! Yeah, check it out! Oh, 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 oh. oh, my. Nice chair. Oh, oh, this isn't a chair, Jeff. It's a throne, the kind that kings and queens use. Right. This throne is used by old King Cole when he comes to my house for tea. Hmm? Only you don't quite look like the king, Jeff. Well, he will if he puts this cape on. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Now do I look like old King Cole? You're still missing something. Well, I think a king needs a crown. Your Majesty, what are your commands? Let's have a party. Oh, come have a tea party. <clears throat> Fit for a king. Yay! A splendid idea. I highly approve. We'll need a really big table. And some goodies. And we'll need lots of chairs. And some goodies. Oh, but there's still something missing from our tea party. And... Goodies. Uh, we need goodies. <laughs> well, you're absolutely right, Baby Bob. I am? Oh, I mean, yes, I am. <laughs> yum, yum. Polly put 
the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, and let's drink tea. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He put in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, what a good boy am I. <laughs> Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? in a pot nine days old. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like it in the pot nine days old. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, come to supper. Hot boiled beans and very good butter. <laughs> the Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts. All on a summer's day, the knave of hearts. He stole the tarts and took them clean away. <laughs> pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with the bee. And put it in the oven for Barney and me. Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, Polly put the kettle on, and let's drink tea. Polly put the kettle on, we'll all drink tea. Oh, 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 o
Your very own quill pen? It's the one I've written all my rhymes with. Oh, I can always make another one. There are lots of feathers around my house. <laughs> can I try it out right now? Certainly, dear. It's uh, time to rhyme. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Is everyone ready to read their rhymes? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, good. Jill, why don't you start us off? Okay. <laughs> Hi-ho, me oh my, I saw a bluebird in the sky. Oh, that was <laughs> good. <laughs> mm, Jeff, would you like to go next? Okay. Good. I gave ice cream to a whale. He said yum and wagged his tail. Oh, oh that's, that's funny. That's so good. <laughs> How about you, Keisha? All right. <laughs> One step, two steps, three steps, four. Go upstairs to my front door. Four steps, three steps, two steps, one. Go downstairs to have some fun. Oh, oh, that was great. Great. <laughs> now it's Robert's turn. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Elephant, big and gray, tell me how you feel today. I feel good from head to toes, except for a tickle in my nose. Uh, a chip! <laughs> <laughs> Now it's your turn, Emily. Let's hear your new rhyme. <laughs> Smiles are like sunshine, warm and bright. Smiles make everything feel all right. Here with my friends is where I like to be. Smiling at you, because you're smiling at me. Oh, that's, that's good. so nice. That's good. That's good. Those rhymes were still stupendous. <laughs> <laughs> they certainly were. In fact, they were so good, I'm going to go straight back home and write them down in my very own book of rhymes. Oh, really? Oh, yes. oh, goodness. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say, this has been a simply glorious day. Oh, we had fun, too, Mother Goose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can we see you again sometime? Well, of course, dear. In fact, you can visit with me any time you want, just by looking right here. After all, I'm in the book. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Barney, it was really fun meeting Mother Goose. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Today was really special. Thanks, Barney. Oh, Thanks you're so welcome. Much. But I'm not surprised. After all, every day can be special when you share it with people you love. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Share our new rhymes with some of the other kids. Oh, 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 that's a terrific idea. I forgot. I have one more rhyme, Barney. Want to hear it? Roses are red, violets are blue. My best friend is purple. My best friend is you. Bye, Barney. See you later.